Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. It is your boy, Minty Breeze. How are you guys doing today? As far as me, I actually, last night, fell down the stairs. <laughs> no. And I got some uh, boo-boos right here, as you can tell. Oh my goodness. And today, we are doing something totally different that I have never done before. I'm doing a tutorial on the bare down basics of After Effects. Like, just blows my mind. I mean, can you even believe this shit? Like, all I do is make gaming videos and stream at twitch.tv slash minty one for one. That's so crazy. You should go check that out. Crazy, am I right? But for real, guys, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on the basics of After Effects. And I know After Effects is used for, like, motion graphics and stuff like that. But I've always used After Effects, me personally, since way back when, when I used to, like, edit COD videos. Like, and I feel that I'm knowledgeable to the point where I can kind of give other people some knowledge about after effects because i really feel when it comes to editing is a very important um thing to do to your uh, oh, dude. anyways this tutorial is just going to be giving you the basics for you, those of you that want to make gaming videos instagram videos tiktoks that uh, i mean i don't have a tiktok but And I'm actually using After Effects right now to edit this video. And eventually, I hope I'll make enough tutorials to where you guys can be advanced to do cool stuff like this. All right, that's enough. Let's go ahead and start this tutorial. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what you're looking at right now is basically an empty project. As soon as you open up After Effects, this is what you're gonna see. And just to go over what each thing is, cause it could definitely be confusing when you first look at it if you have never used any type of editing program at all. I'm just gonna run through the important components that you definitely need to know about. So we, if we just head out here to the top, we see file, edit, composition, layer, effect, animation view window and help we come down here this is where the project tab so this is where your project files are going to be and then also your effect control so when you click on whatever uh video or footage that you have you and you want to add effects to it that's where the effects tab will be so uh if you want to drag an effect onto there this is where it'll pop up and then you can manipulate it and change the settings so where you want it to and right here is where all when you import an item this is where the items will go into this uh, project tab. It'll have all items list right here. It'll tell you the frame rate of it, what type, what size. And then if you come down here, this is your timeline. You're basically your, your work area. So all the work and editing is just going to go into this area right here. Uh, this is where the composition. So this is where you're going to see your footage physically. Your video is going to be right here, picture, whatever you're going to have. it. This is what you're going to see to when you edit your videos also right here you have this is where you're gonna get your effects and stuff you have effects and presets uh a whole bunch of different other tabs so i would say basically this is for your all your effects and all the stuff that you plan on doing text and stuff like that and you have your preview tab so if you want to preview your um footage uh, before you know you render out your whole video you can go ahead and uh, preview now that one's tricky because uh, depending on what you're using um, how much RAM you have uh, you might not be able to get the full HD footage and the like to see the final product because it's a preview and it's using most of your RAM in order to preview the video so if you don't have that much RAM uh, you might not be able to see the final product now if you do have plenty of ram then you'll be able to see the final product basically instead of like kind of pixelated uh picture so with that being said let's go ahead and import something so i can show you guys how this stuff kind of works so when you want to import something uh your video your footage or whatever you plan on doing you're going to go up here to file then come down there's an import tab now these you have import and import recent footage uh you will if you're just new to the program you're not gonna have anything here because obviously recent footage is like stuff that you imported recently into the editing program so don't worry about that so you just come up here and file and then from here you, you notice that you have other different selections files multiple files so if i'm like editing a whole bunch of different uh footage i have uh a whole bunch of files i can just come to multiple files instead of uh clicking one file it exits out but once i import something then it'll just the tab will pop up again and I'll be able to import stuff instead of clicking it all over and here so if for those of you who are maybe coming over from Adobe Premiere Pro you're able to import a Premiere Pro project into After Effects 
vice versa so if you guys are trying to like switch over anything like that don't worry because you're able to import the premiere project right here all right we imported a video and this is what i was talking about so once you import something it'll tell you basically the whole settings of the video uh the video is uh 19 by 20 by 1080 60 frames per second this will tell you the minutes seconds milliseconds right here but uh top of file mp4 and this is what it'll look like actually if you click on it it'll preview right up here in the project tab and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag the project or not the project but the file down to the timeline so all you're doing is you're clicking on it holding it down and then dragging down to your timeline and all you have to do is let go and drop it and bam whoa that's crazy it popped up so right here it can now now we have the file in our work area now here is something that's important where i was referring to earlier about the ram if you do not have a lot of ram here's a uh resolution where you can set it so if you can the lower ram you have and you want to like make it easier to render out here so now we have our file in the work area now what i was referring to earlier about the ram and previewing it because obviously you're gonna want to see how your edits come out before you render the whole thing out instead of wasting your time and all that space depending on how much ram you have so let's say you have a little like you only have like let's say you're working with only eight gigabytes or less than eight gigabytes then you're gonna want to go quarter now quarter it'll lower the quality of it but you'll still be able to see it and you can come up to the preview tab and you can press play oh, and then the video will start playing now in doing so it's using more of my ram to preview the uh project but since i have enough ram that's fine because it'll still play out anyways so it'll it starts off from the least to, to the highest so don't worry about that just you could just quarter you'll see it in a lesser quality but as long as you can see it before you actually rendered the whole video out that's fine you can set it to as big as a minute obviously this video right here i think is a let's see 14 minutes and 50 seconds now you come down here and you see this little meter down here now this right here you can zoom in so if i want to get down to like a couple of seconds it's hard to explain so i'm just gonna like drag the bar so you can see so if i drag this meter to the right the more zoomed in it goes into the file to down to the seconds now if i go even further it goes down to the frames and i can just go through the whole video so if i wanted to just cut the video right here i can get it at that exact frame and then i come down to the bar i can make it a little more to the left and it'll add it'll start dictating it by each second i hope you guys are understanding me this is my first tutorial so i'm, I'm trying my best to explain this as simple as possible because i know when i first started there weren't there weren't that many good tutorials out there so i hope i'm being as simplistic as possible and explaining this really well so you guys can start editing your videos so like i was saying you use this meter down here you could drag it to get down to the exact frame or you can pull it all the way back to the left so you can bring it up to um every 30 seconds every like 30 second marker and it, it makes the timeline a lot bigger so you can see the entire video or you can see like a small portion of it so you can get down to the frame so if you want to cut it to an exact point you can now if you're wanting to split your footage and uh, cut it at a certain point this is what you do you're, you're gonna want to come up to that top bar where there's file edit and composition you're gonna want to go to edit scroll down until you see split layer and it splits the layer in half now you can do whatever you want with the footage if you want to split this part right here and then split it again now if you guys don't want to click all the way up here because obviously i don't do that there's a hot key in after effects where you can just simply press keys to split it on the spot instead of having to take your mouse all the way up to edit you're going to want to press Control shift d all at the same time to just split it on the spot instead of dragging your mouse over to click to edit and split the layer Control shift d and it splits the layer so you don't have to worry about clicking anything click on the next portion of the video split it once again and as keep pressing it it'll split it now the first 45 seconds of the video is now by itself so i can do whatever i want to this part of the video and it won't affect the other clips that i have already split in half so let's say i want to come to you know i want to add some cool edit or whatever uh, i'm gonna want to go to that effects tab on the right side right here click on effects and presets and this is the whole list of different effects that you can use and add to your clips i'm not going to get specifically into what uh different effects are here i'm gonna say that for another video i'm just giving you guys uh bare down basics of where everything's at but i'm just gonna show you guys i'm just gonna click something random i'm gonna click on just dis distort 
and i'm a drag bulge you guys can obviously mess around with this stuff and like check all these effects now all i have to do is just drag the effect like i drag the project uh file from the project tab and drag it on to the clip now once you drag the effect onto the clip it's gonna come into the effects controls on the left hand side uh in the effects tab and it's gonna pop up right here and it's gonna bring you all the settings for that effect that i can add and it'll show you right here in on the composition of what it looks like so right here this is where the bulge is at and i can just drag where the marker is in the middle i can just click on it just drag it to where i want it to go so right now i'm gonna drag it on my face and as you can see you can tell that's already kind of zoomed in um i'm gonna go right here to the left hand side on composition and this is how zoomed in it is so right now it's at 33 percent and i can always make it uh closer so i'm gonna go to 50 percent and now i'm a lot closer to the composition i can really see a lot better and now i'm gonna go to the left hand side and i'm gonna manipulate the settings i'm gonna come in here i'm gonna like just pull this all the way up this this random stuff maybe i'll just do this and now i have this weird freaking bulge face going on this is so you guys how you guys can manipulate the effects and stuff like that and do different stuff that you guys want to do but that's how you use uh effects you just drag it onto the clip it'll pop on the left hand side and do whatever you want to how to manipulate it now if your video has sound to it you're gonna want to click on the actual file in your work area and now what i do is a hotkey i press uh l twice so all you're gonna want to do is just press l twice and then uh your waveform is gonna pop up so this is the audio waveform that pops up here on the timeline and it basically shows your audio out through the whole video this i use it makes editing a lot faster because i can tell when i talk and what parts i need to cut out and don't need to cut out so obviously if i look at the timeline right here i can see i start talking around this area i drag it you can tell that i'm talking right now and <laughs> just look at my <laughs> this it looks so dumb <laughs> anyways you can tell that i'm talking right here and let's say i just want to split it right here and just cut that empty space out because this right here i can i know for myself that i wasn't talking here and it doesn't need to be in the video so i'll just come down here could press Control shift d and it'll split that and i could just delete it and do whatever this makes editing especially fast because i can already tell where i'm talking and i'm not talking so i can just get rid of that empty space that i don't need all right guys i'm gonna go over two more things that i think are very essential so you're gonna come up here to composition and you're gonna go to composition settings now this composition sets the settings for the video itself and how it comes out so the settings for the composition set up how it's gonna look on your work area or composition on what i'm looking at right now so if i want to change it the width so if i want to do like 4k settings i can change it to that if i want to make the width and height a lot smaller than what it is i can and the frame rate i can also change but let's go ahead and finish off with the last basic thing that i feel like is very important so you are done with your video now you need to render your video out so this highlighted area right here where you see the the blue marker right here this is your work area so this area right here is what your after effects is going to render out so let's say i drag all this and i drag it to marker two this area right here once you add it to your render queue is exactly what it's going to render it's not going to render out any of this extra space right here it's only going to render out the highlighted area where you drag the work area bar to so if i want to stretch out to here and make it longer if i want to stretch it out or make it shorter this render out right here this is exactly what this area is going to render out so once you're ready to render and you have your highlighted area done you come up to composition and you're going to want to add it to the adobe media encoder queue this should come with your after effects if you're using the creative cloud this is is where your how your video is going to come out and what settings you need to change so right now i had a video rendering in 4k but we're not doing that we're not doing 4k so you come here once this pops up you're going to want to click on preset and it has a crap ton of presets that you can mess around with for youtube videos i personally like to choose the high quality 1080p hd that's the one i use and you can come down here to basic video files and this right here you can do custom settings so if you don't want to just go with the actual preset you can come down here to basic video settings and you can change to whatever you want so let's say you want to change the width you're going to want to click so let's say you're going to want to change the width and make sure you have this clicked and it has a slash through it because if it doesn't and i start changing stuff 
the height is gonna change with it so make sure you have that slash and you can change the width to whatever you want if i want to change it to some crazy ass settings like this it, you know it doesn't really matter and also right here if you have this checked right here uncheck this and you can change the frame rate to whatever you want obviously i would never have the video at 11 frames per second but you can change it to 60 to 30 or whatever you want and then once you're done you can press ok if you're done messing around with the settings and you come to here this is where your video is going to save at so your output file all you're going to want to do is click on this and go to wherever you want to save your video at once you pick your output file all you're going to want to do is to start it you're going to want to come up here and press play click uh, start queue it's going to start rendering out the video right here so you can tell how it's rendering out this is the bar how much it's been rendered and in this right here it'll tell you how much time you have left so i have three minutes until i'm done rendering the video sometimes this number will go up and down so it doesn't really matter depending on how much ram you have and how fast your computer can do things then it solely depends on that but i'm not actually gonna render this whole thing out so so that ladies and gentlemen is my first after effects tutorial on the basic controls and things of after effects i hope you guys end up enjoying i hope it was a good tutorial let me know down in the comments how i can improve i definitely want to do more tutorials and show you guys different things because it means a lot to me because i really want people to start editing their videos and such like gaming videos i want them to learn how to do it because i know there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to edit at all and i just really want to make a tutorial to kind of make it super simple which honestly i don't think i did i feel like i sounded really complicated but hopefully it'll help out some people let me know down in the comments if i was helpful at all and please tell me how to improve because this is my first tutorial i don't i don't know man also don't forget i stream at twitch.tv slash minty one for one every monday wednesdays and sunday don't forget to check that out link is in the description so please leave a like down below hit that subscribe button for more content and i'll see you guys in my next video